Rod, you can lead us off. Brandon Rod Walker with the Times Picayune. And when you go back to March in um, Sacramento when the season got stopped, how long ago does that feel like it was to you? And also, just how does it feel just to be getting a chance to be back to playing basketball? I mean, it felt like just a few weeks ago because uh, we missed basketball so much. And uh, that's pretty much all we do when we wake up in the morning, just think about basketball, 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 and family. So. Uh, we're prepared. We're ready for whatever is going on right now, and uh, we look forward to tonight. Mark, go ahead. Hey, Brandon, Mark, Virginia here. Hope you're doing well as always. Um, hey, a little off topic here, but I, I was curious. You know, we've been used to having to wear masks since the pandemic happened, but just given what the campus setup is like, and you guys are having to go in and out of different facilities, what's that been like overall? Adjusting to that? I mean, it's been pretty normal. Um, the schedule is the same for me, just being at home or being in the hotel and then uh, going to a gym, eating, going back home, going to a gym. So it's been pretty normal for me. The access to the gym is the best part. What's up, VA? Christian Clark, um, You know, Rudy Gobert is obviously. You know, won a couple of Defensive Player of the Year awards, been in the center of that defense, but you you guys have had success against them on offense. Um, what is what is just the key to attacking against this team? Uh, just trying to get downhill, trying to get downhill, uh, create for teammates, hitting the open guy on the offensive end and trying to build our rhythm, rhythm from the start. I think uh, we have to set a, a tempo in the beginning that we're going to hit first and be aggressive. Mark Spears, go ahead. We'll move on to the next one. Okay. Uh, Jim, go ahead, please. Hey, B.I., obviously uh, you talked about how it was, it's been a long time since you guys were back on the court in March, but it was also more than six months since you guys played the Jazz. How much do you guys look at those games, or is that something that you kind of throw out because it was just so long ago in terms of preparing for this game? Well, we look back at film. We look back at some of the tendencies of each guy. Uh, we see what they do well. Um, we look at most of our games, we know they have Conley back. Uh, we know that Bogdanovich is out. Um, they have new guys in the lineup, but those guys can pick up where the other guys have, have left off. And we know it's important on the defensive end for us to be aggressive and have a sense of urgency, especially running off the three-point line and having guys inside to block out Rudy Gobert on long three. So uh, we definitely got to pay attention to detail. Oh, what's up, B.I.? This is Will Gilliam with The Athletic. Uh, knowing that you guys are going to be the first game and there's going to be, you know, so many eyes on you during this, just how much have y'all thought about just the, the messaging, you know, before the game with the national anthem and how y'all going to handle, you know, Black Lives Matter and all that kind of stuff, knowing, you know, the, the kind of platform you guys are going to be on tonight? Well, uh, you know, some guys are going to stay quiet. Some guys are going to have voices in uh, whatever the team wants to do tonight and, and – and and fighting justice for, for a team and for black people, I'm, I'm all with it. Uh, I know some of my guys are outspoken in, in what they want to do and, and the things they feel, so I'm, I'm right behind them. Anything else for BI? All right, great. Thanks a lot, BI. Appreciate Thank it. You.